Good morning, it's quarter past seven, uh, Manchester United versus Liverpool at Old Trafford. I'm just about to set off. Um, I feel obviously knackered, um, but excited, excited and nervous. And, and the fact that it's not, there's not loads riding on this game kind of helps the nerves a bit, um, but obviously still United away, massive, massive occasion. Um, you know, we're, we're going to go up and come back on the same day, we're not going to stay over anything, we're going to get straight out of there back home. Um, still feeling really ill, but we get on with it and let's head the rest and do the business. about two hours ago I'm um, still in a busy uh, congested road getting back to the station it's had a meal in a Mexican restaurant and it's full of United fans singing about Steven Gerrard which was lovely um, fair enough um, bitterly disappointed with the result obviously I thought our end was really good it was good until they scored the first um, after the second that completely killed us still felt we did, did pretty well to get back into the game though um, and refereeing decision to side, I think it's a very different outcome. Um, you know, Mourinho will get praised for, for what happened, but um, it, it's a very different story for ref does his job. He was awful all game, not just big decisions, everything. He, I'm sick of having these conversations about referees in these big games. You know, I'm sick of, I'm sick of it against Spurs, um, you know, to an extent against Man City at, at the Etihad. Um, Arsenal away, even though there was no big decisions, decisions there, I came away feeling aggrieved with the referee every 50-50. We 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 deserve you know we we deserve to go in at a break two and down because of how we defended. Um, maybe a draw would have been a fair result. But, um, you know it was by far uh, it was far from a perfect performance from us and there were a lot of issues and you know that that is what cost us. But the referee's got to do his job. I'm I'm, I'm bored of it. I'm just bored of these having these conversations. Um, but yeah, let's let's get back home and get out of this uh, get out of this city and uh, make it home in one piece. As if they can get any worse. Train was stuck in Stafford for ages. Um, half an hour late back home, but nearly there now, so uh, can finally rest up. But I've been off and out for a pint, so we'll see whether I fancy that or not. But um, it's been a fun day, but uh, not a profitable one in many, many senses. So I've had a shave and a shower and everything, you know. Um, Look like a completely different man, probably like five years younger. Uh, came to the pub for a couple, um, just to kind of take the edge off it a bit. Um, yeah, no, no big nights out tonight or anything. But um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm at peace with the result. It is what it is. Um, the Reds weren't good enough, but you know, not a disgrace either. So um, we move on. We go again. Champions League is a priority. Up the reds. So just to round it up, um, it's Sunday night now. Um, we know the rest of the results. Everybody else has won. You know, Spurs beat one before one, so they haven't fallen behind. Arsenal won, although that's not particularly relevant. At Chelsea won two, one at home to Palace. Um, obviously United winning two. So everyone's gained ground on us this weekend. So it's our turn to kind of uh, have had the bad weekend. Not too concerned um, because we are still in good form. You know, let's just hope this is a blip. Um, we've got a nice run in. I think the nicest run in out of all the contenders for the top four. Um, we are fourth now at two points a game. Um, let's not get too concerned about it. Um, Watford at home next. Should be back to winning ways. And then um, 
we press on from there. So the, the only tough game we've got left is Chelsea away. That might be a pivotal one. That might be the one that decides who you know, finishes in the top four. It's all good. Let's see if we get in the Champions League and let's go and beat Watford. Um, see you next time.